الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله We ask Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty, <clears throat> to bless us with those things which please Him and protect us from those things which displease Him, Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And we seek refuge in Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala from the accursed Shaytan and the Shayateen from amongst mankind and jinn <clears throat> and we seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's assistance and his favor and his help and his support and that's tawheedillah that is tawheed meaning to understand and believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship and the only one who can grant you success in this life. And that He, Tabarak wa ta'ala, Khalik, huwa Khalik li kulli shay. He is the creator of everything. And as Imam Ibn Kathir said when commenting about verses in the Quran which illustrate the rububiyyah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, that He is the Lord of all things and He is the creator of all these beautiful ayat koniya, He says, He commented, He said, Al Khalik. لِهَذِهِ الْأَشْيَاءِ هُوَ مُسْتَحِكْ لِلْعِبَادَةِ He said the creator of all of those things that huwa, that he is مُسْتَحِكْ لِلْعِبَادَةِ He is truly warranting that we worship him and him alone. And from that Ahabati Filah we know and understand that Tawheed, Tawheed Arububiyah, Yastelzimu Tawheed Al-Uluhiyah, which means that the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all of this beautiful, majestic creation it shows us that the creator of all of this is truly the only one worthy of worship. You know, yastelzimu, it necessitates that we then therefore worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Al-Khadihadihilashya The creator of the creator of these things, truly who is the heck? He is truly the one who warrants that we worship Him and Him alone. So, contemplating the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation, the wonder and the majesty that this should let us know that there's a creator for all of this. This did not just happen. The wonder, the beauty, that it has a divine source 
in that the creator of the heavens and earth, the only one worthy of worship, created all of this. And he is truly the only one worthy of worship. And that's why we need to seek to draw near to Allah. I don't understand. Perhaps I'll never understand. But I think it's just culture and tradition which is built on batil. Meaning that those people from amongst the Muslim nations. I said nations. That means we have so many nations of Muslims that there's so many in the, their countries who believe <clears throat> in, for example, praying to their they're dead and then claiming it's not ibadah. They supplicate to the dead. They circumambulate around the graves. They make pilgrimage to graves. I'm going to go to Sheikh so and so's grave and I'm going to travel. I'm going to such and such place as a type of pilgrimage. And I do it yearly. Or I do it every couple of years when I can save my money. Or we donate our money and our food and we leave it at the graves of the righteous. Can any of those people help themselves? Could any of those so supposed olia, could they postpone their own death? Were they able to do that? Or what about the sickness, sicknesses and the illnesses that we get? Look at the COVID-19. Can any of us stop that? Can any of us, uh, of us postpone it? Or are we weak, frail, delicate creatures created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in need of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala? And we'll know that the latter answer is the correct answer. Is that nam? We're in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're weak. We're frail. We're fragile. We depend upon our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Malakum la tu'minuna billah. What's with you that you don't believe in Allah? What's with you that you don't believe in Allah? What's with you that you don't follow the sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? And what's with you that you would take shirk over Iman or Tawheed? And you would take, you would reject what true Tawheed is and you would accept shirk. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from kufr, shirk, and nifaq. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد